it's really quite something to see. Um, I mean, last year we experienced some of the highest water levels in the Great Lakes that we have seen since 1986, 1987. In fact, I believe that they surpassed that. Um, they have come down about 12 inches since July, but we're and we're getting near the end of the cycle where the lakes will be coming down from evaporation and they will start going back up as soon as things start melting. Um, and it's an issue. It's a huge issue for shoreline property owners. I know they're in the, you know, St. Clair shore areas, down river, um, you know, the water levels are right at land levels. And there has been property damage and there may very well likely continue to be property damage. The difficult thing in terms of climate change, you know, uh, changes in weather patterns is we don't know what's going to happen in the very near future. Models are very uh, clear in that temperatures are gonna continue to warm. Uh, and that may mean that we have more wet seasons um, as we have had the past couple of years. Uh, I believe 2019 was one of the wettest years on record for Lake Michigan or for the state of Michigan. And that raises the water level in all of the Great Lakes. So it's an issue. Um, and right now the Army Corps of Engineers follows the water levels. They give monthly updates as to their predictions and it's a 50-50 uh, crapshoot right now, whether we're gonna be back up to record levels this year or whether it will go down. Based on the past couple of months, we've, we are seeing very little precipitation and that's throughout the Great Lakes Basin. Even in the upper peninsula, there's not very much snow and it's very, very unusual.